Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Aviano and this is American Truck Simulator once again. Uh, a couple changes since last time, we're going to open up our options here and look, go to controls, go down to the area where all of the H shifter setup is. Um, my shifter layout is set as the Eaton Fuller 18 speed now um, and shifter layout behavior is set to advanced. Um, that means that we can uh, float gears, it's kind of difficult to do. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't for me. But I know if you get the the whole technique down, you actually can float gears in this game. So that's something that's really, really cool uh, that we couldn't do in Euro Truck Simulator. Um, what is float gears really? It means that you don't have to clutch for every single gear that you go through. However, this um, is an advanced transmission. It takes a little bit to get used to. I have two buttons set up on my shifter um, to go from the different modes to different uh, you know levels in the transmission. Uh, with that said, another option that we changed in the graphics, which improved a thousand percent the anti-aliasing I was talking about last time is the scaling was set to 400%. Now I had it gone with ultra settings on the graphics, but that only put it to 125, the setting right there. Um, but 400, if your computer can handle it, it looks really, really well. And you'll see the difference uh, today. I also have color correction turned off as always. And uh, that's the only changes that I have made. Let's head here to the uh, job market and have a look at what we have available to us. I'm going to go with sort and buy price. I've been putting a lot of my skill points towards, um, you know, hazard class, dangerous materials uh, or hazardous materials, as well as um, fragile cargo, too. So uh, you get a little better uh, payout for it. So we're going to go with dynamite from Oxnard, California, and we're going to go to Stockton. Let's take that job. That'll be in the uh, Kenworth. So we'll take you. Here we are at Kemso in the red Kenworth, and we're gonna fire this baby up from the outside so you can listen to it purr. Oh yeah, there we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. Parking lamps, regular lights, all that good stuff. Very nice, let's head back up into the cabin. Okay, we're fired up, let's look where we're going. Uh, going to Coastline Mining, spelled a little very strange. <laughs> uh, that's wrong. Uh, Coastline Mining out of Stockton, so. Take this dynamite down to them so they can finish their jobs and uh, we can get paid. Let's go ahead and put it into 1L. One lower and get rolling. Very nice. And you got to kind of listen to the transmission um, on this uh, setting rather than before where you can just kind of do whatever you want. This one won't let you do that. You have to be patient with the transmission. That is for sure. Already a few mods coming out for uh, American Truck already, I've noticed. I already picked them up. I might try them, try them a little later down the road, but I have so much time invested into this profile right now, I don't want to mess it up. Um, saving up to get a truck. Uh, you probably saw on the main screen that I had almost 30, no wait, I think 40 something thousand dollars now saved up. Ooh, speed bump. Uh, saved up for all of this. All right, let's go ahead and Rev match down to there. Put this baby in neutral and brake. Look both ways before we start pulling out here. All right, after this little Range Rover, I think we're gonna be good. Nope, not yet. Maybe we will be right after this though. Yep, we're good. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you don't wait for that gear to go in, you know, it's gonna be a bad day. So, <laughs> can't find it, grind it, as they say. Okay, we're good now. Let's get rolling. Excited to get back on the road. Steep grade. What's that say? Trucks use low gear. Okay. So we gotta go down a little bit of a switch back here. It's not very difficult at all. <laughs> oh man. I read through uh, all your guys' comments. Uh, you seem to really be enjoying American Truck Simulator, and I'm glad you are because I absolutely have been having a blast playing it. Um, and making videos for you guys to enjoy as well. Uh, with that said, I think somebody kind of took everything I was saying about the backup beeper thing the wrong way. Um, that tends to be the case. Okay, we gotta make a right turn here onto this tiny ass gravel road. Why are we going up this thing? I don't know, let's put it in 1L. Just watching that side there. And uh, the backup beeper thing, uh, I worked at, uh, you know, plenty of different truck yards over the years in my uh, 
career in shipping and then air cargo and all that. And all the truck drivers usually have that turned off by the truck. I know that, you know, they all come with it. Um, as well as, I think USDOT is, you can either have a backup beeper or a white light for your backup. Um, but regardless, the reason why I was talking about that was I was just basically saying this is the reason why I'm not using it. Uh, cause it's annoying to hear that over and over and over again. And I'm sure that's why a lot of truckers do it as well as when they're in yards, they turn that off. So they're not annoying the other truck drivers that are in there sleeping or what have you. This is a very interesting road. I've never taken this road before. Man, gotta love getting over being sick. My uh, coughs are still here and I'll be cutting them out of the video so you don't have to listen to it, but man, it's been, it's been a mess for me. Let's see here, rest area. That's a very interesting rest area, isn't it? It's not very legit at all. Some Airstream trailers, look at this. And some campers. What's going on, boys? Look at that. That's awesome. Look at that view. That is beautiful. That view is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I could probably change gears. You guys are probably getting tired of hearing that already. There we go. Let's go to a lower gear. Even though the speed not, uh, yep, speed limit here is 25. Let's go over to hill. They're really taking us down a wild path, aren't they? I've never taken this before. This is so crazy. But there's a lot of the map that I have not been on, uh, mainly Nevada, because I based uh, my truck, uh, my trucking company out of Sacramento. So I get a lot of loads in California. Haven't even really driven into Nevada at all. Although, no, I did Reno to uh, Bakersfield on my last run I did last night. Okay, so I think we're gonna cross the highway and continue down this way. This is such a strange way, but you know what? Makes us a better driver, right? Coming up on this road here, make a right turn and then a left turn. Oop. Okay, so make sure we don't get killed pulling out on this road. There's a car there. It's a police car. And yes, cops are everywhere in this game. You are absolutely correct there. Uh, I'm ready for these coughs to be gone, I tell you. I'm ready for it to be bye-bye. Okay, we're going down here. Down by this pier. I don't know why they're having us go this way. Oh, well. We're just gonna... We're gonna roll with it. We're just gonna roll with it. Very nice. We get a nice ocean view today. We normally wouldn't have 55 miles per hour on this road. That doesn't seem very legit at all. I would never do 55 on this road. You're asking for a lot. Look how beautiful that is. That is awesome. With the tennis courts and everything there. Very neat stuff. And the pier. Look at this little town. Very cool stuff. Chinese takeouts. With the fish on the side. Active fashion. Active fashion. Asian food. A lot of Asian food down here. Lots of Asian food. Ford Mustang. Convertible. A little park there. People playing basketball. Yeah, they're playing basketball. They're dribbling it and everything. They're just dribbling the ball. Whoa. That's what we get for watching people dribble basketballs. We're not allowed to do that. Let's get back to... Uh, why would we... I don't get it. Why would the GPS take us this way when we had that highway right there? We could have just taken the road all the way down. I guess they want us to take the scenic route. That makes sense, right? I don't know about that, but, you know. We'll make a left here, and all will be well. Not the end of the world. Alright, so make a left here. Put it in the gear, just be ready for it. What are we doing here, guys? We got another police car coming down the road. Yeah, that's my biggest complaint, is there's cops everywhere in this game. Um, I wish... You know, they would have an option for you to have, or not an option, but they need to make it to where there's just not as many. I mean, that's, it's a little over the top sometimes. 
I mean, I'm all for, you know, driving safe and everything, but look at that. Another one. So that's a, that's a gripe I have. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not want that. Well, we were doing so well, weren't we? I don't know about that. Let's see. Let's try this again. Five L. There we go. I'm so used to having my gears in, you know, position one and two, but that's reverse. One is reverse on this gearbox, and two would be your lower level. So that takes a little bit to get used to. Just a little bit. And we wait. And we wait silently. Yeah, and also I was reading through the comments and it, it gets really frustrating. Um, it's been happening a lot more recently on a lot of the videos. And maybe it's because my channel's getting lar you know, a little bit larger each time. Um, and that is that a lot of the questions that you are asking, please don't go, Honda Accord. What are you doing with it yourself? Um, a lot of the questions you're asking, I am answering directly in the video. If you would just watch the video or listen to what I have to say, then your, you know, your answers will be, or your questions will be answered. So it's kind of annoying, not annoying, but more frustrating than anything uh, when people are constantly asking me the same thing that I just talked about in the video. I seem like I'm always repeating myself. So please take the time to watch the full video before commenting a question um, because it, it, you know, people want to comment, you know, just a few seconds after the video has started or I do something wrong or something and they never give me time to talk about it or anything. So just kind of use a little bit more common sense with that, guys, because um, I love talking to you guys in the comments and I'm going to continue to talk to you guys in the comments. Um, I've just got to be more choosy about who I'm talking to, because if you're asking me the same thing over and over again, that's already been explained in a video. There's nothing I can do, and it's, I'm going to skip right over it. Okay, it's a 30 to a 55. Okay, we're back in the 55 zone now. So we're going to be on Coastal 1. This is definitely the scenic route. All right. Getting over the hill. Like, you know, people asking me the questions of, hey, your voice sounds different, or this is different. In the very beginning of the video, I told you I'm getting over the flu, like, I've been sick. And uh, and I know a lot of you guys have been helping me out in the comments and answering the, you know, the those same ones that seem to pop up. But you, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Just, it's, it's more frustrating than anything. Is that I'm like, am I crazy or... <laughs> Did I not talk about that in that exact video? That seems to happen a lot more and more often. All right, look at that. Very nice. But I dig digress. Let's continue on. So yeah, I still get to have those stupid, you know, after when you're sick uh, kind of coughs. And it trying to mask them the best I can. But it's like almost like that tickling, you know? It's not great. It's been beautiful here in Missouri. It's been uh, absolutely wonderful, like in the 60s, damn near 70s, actually, as far as uh, temperature goes. It's been really nice. Whoa there, truck. Man, he was flying. He was indeed. All right, I think we're going to make it a right turn up here. So, yes, we are. We'll get in this lane here and let's flip on the toggle. Hit that Jake break. Very nice. All right. Looking at right here. We're in Santa Cruz. This is so cool. All right. We're good to go. I'm getting used to the uh, transmission now. It just takes a little bit. Um, I'm not going to float it yet. It just seems to always do a grinding to me. Alex, uh, the Northern Alex, he's the one who uh, was helping me with that when I was uh, asking him about it. Because I know you can do it. 
and um, for me, it just seems to grind a lot. But I know you have to have it be, you have to be right in the right range of the uh, transmission for it to do it correctly. But you can, and that's a really really cool addition to have. I think a lot with the uh, advanced uh, transmission, you just have to be patient with it. You can't just go slamming through the gears. You have to kind of wait for them to actually move into place and all that good stuff. There we go. Pull up behind this little truck right here. Bakersfield straight ahead. Let me turn our lights on now. It's starting to get a little more dim outside. Yes, it is. Much better. One thing I haven't tried with the American Truck yet is the Oculus Rift. And I think that will be awesome. Also, um, a lot of you guys always want to see the GoPro of how I uh, am shifting and stuff. And I was able to do that at the old house. In this house, it's been a little more difficult for me to find a spot to mount the camera to point at it. I need like a tripod or something for the GoPro. Um, so that would work a little bit better. Watching our speed here. We don't want any speeding fines and it's a 30. Oh, just change over to a 55. All right, we're good. We can get rolling now. Now we can get rolling again. Bobbing everywhere, man. That's how I feel like right now. My voice, whenever I, whenever I get over, whenever I'm sick or I'm getting over sick, I, I sound like Johnny Cash. I'm Johnny Cash. Let's continue down this road. This is so nice. It's so relaxing, this game. If you take it easy. And, and you know, another gripe that I have with the game, uh, because, you know, I think it's okay to talk about the cons. Obviously, we can't just sit here and just say, hey, the, the game's great, the game's great. Oh, we're coming in through Huron. I've been here many times. Been to Huron many, many times. Um, and the gripe is that the game doesn't ever seem to let you get comfortable enough on the like you're always having to turn you're always having to do something and it kind of detracts from the actual driving that you know you should be you would normally do in real life you'd kind of get set in a down a road and be good to go and what i mean by that it's like it just seems like they have they dump you off on roads all the time instead of making you take you know major interstates and that's kind of uh, the only thing it's kind of been annoying because you get through the gears, you get back up to speed and everything's fine. Now, if you're on the five, like if you're going from, you know, Reno or you're going from Sacramento down to L.A. or something, that's really cool. I mean, you get set up, you're good to go. You got cruise control going and then you're, you know, you're trucking. Um, but they dump you off on these side roads and do all this weird stuff sometimes with the GPS. And uh, it's kind of annoying, got to say. Just want to get my uh, trucking groove, you know? All right. I love those, those emergency call boxes. Those are a real deal, too. They got those all over the place here in America. All right, we'll slow down here to this guy. Rev match down to 3L. Make a left turn here onto the road. And another thing, I know that we're just saying, you know, I think I, the game's getting a lot of praise from everybody, and including me. Um, but this, the on-ramps here, this is not good at all. Um, they have you yielding, which means that we'd have to come to a complete stop to give way to the traffic coming um, in our lane. And in reality, you would, you know, get on the highway, and you would have an acceleration lane that would last a lot longer. And I don't know why they didn't do that because there's plenty of room for, you know, for us to do that. So I don't know why they didn't give us acceleration lanes that are proper so we can get our uh, trucks up to speed. All right, now we're trucking. Like I said, you know, once you get on the five, it's all smooth sailing. But after all that weird stuff they had us do, we'll see how long we're actually on the five. All right, cruise control is set for 55. We're good. 
hit the I key to go through the different uh, modes. The gauge is there. Fuel distance, all that good stuff. Cruise control. Set of 55. Very nice. It's so awesome. I love this game so much. But like I said, you know, I think it's fine to point out the things that are ridiculous like that. Like there should be an acceleration link still going and then right now we should have a merge over. Going down the highway. And whenever I play by myself, I listen to uh, country and everything on Spotify. It's a real nice, real nice listen. And it's kind of like I've told people before in the past with my Euro Truck series. I always uh, invite you guys to listen to some music whenever you watch these videos. Um, because there's no music in them or anything, so keeps you entertained. You can listen to uh, anything you want. I like listening to older country, 90s country in general when uh, trucking. To me, it's just a lot to uh, brings that uh, truck vibe right home. See, now that's a correct acceleration lane. See it right there? That should be something like that for all of these on-ramps. That is for sure. Another thing I've been uh, noticing to combat the police is um, you've really, really got to watch these. Because if you're coming out of Bakersfield and you're almost to the, uh, to the 5, there's a little spot there where it instantly changes to 30 miles per hour and there's a cop sitting there. So if you aren't on your game, you are guaranteed to get a ticket there. I mean, you've got to be up on that wheel. So I slow it down way before, cause just because I know. So I think a lot of that stuff's going to be uh, trial and error. Denial and error, as Ricky would say. Post a comment if you know what that is all about. <laughs> but yeah, see, now, now we got our trucking groove going. We're going down Highway 5, and it's awesome. This is what it's all about right here. I just wish there was um, more roads in uh, in the game that were like this. Which, you know, over the course of time, as you know, more and more states are added, uh, we'll get a feeling like that. It'll be awesome. It'll be really cool. Let's see how long out we are. Uh, we are 22 miles out. Very nice. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And we're going to Stockton, so... Coming up soon. Probably not the first exit of Stockton, but the second exit. Very cool stuff. So yeah, talking about the big, uh, <laughs> the big Jake, the Jake break. Um, they give us an option for the toggle switch now, so we can actually toggle it on, and then you can just manually go down the gears uh, to help assist with braking, such as this. I'll turn it on. So all I gotta do now is just clutch, and then go into 7L there, and get off the highway. Just like this. And it is kind of assists you instead of having to hold the button down the entire time, you know? Which is really cool. Alright, very nice. Let's make our left turn here. What do we got here, guys? Looks like we're all good to go. Just gotta play it a little safe. Alright. Now we're, now we're rolling again. Thirty mile an hour zone, see? Insta. Insta thirty. I don't think there's any cops out here, but I'm not gonna chance it, that's for sure. But we have made it to our destination. Destination on right. Alright, cool. Let's see where they want this trailer. It's going to be probably in a weird spot. Coastline Mining. This is it. Dynamite is here, boys and girls. So you can get your jobs done. You can get your jobs done. All right. Looks like in the... Is it in the back? Yep. Back this way. All right. So headlights are on. All right, very nice. And where do you guys want this trailer? I think it's right up here on the side. If I am correct, yep, right there. 
That's not too bad at all. Uh, not at all. That's an easy drop. Easy, easy drop. Let's just kind of do this and we got plenty of room. We can actually open our door up and just back it right on into its spot. Pretty simple to do, actually. Let's look behind us here. Yep. Pretty straight shot back. Not too difficult at all. Very cool stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Back on up nice and smooth. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I need to go into the config and turn that off. I do, I do. There we go. Very nice. Right here I'll do. Well. Yep. We're happy with it right there. We are too. Put it in neutral. Parking brake set. Let's have a look outside. Very nicely done. Just backed it right on and where they want it. And let's uh, go get, let's get paid. Excellent. 318 miles, 10 hours, 46 minutes. Consumed 46.4 gallons of fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. And we passed level five. Look at that. I'm an enthusiast now. That's awesome. Um, we got four and 14 XP and made 6185. How about that? And we have skill points to send off. Uh, high value, fragile. Uh, let's go with some high value cargo. So we get some different stuff over time. Uh, what else we got here? Um, I've got 39988 money-wise. So not near as much as I need to buy a truck. A truck's going to cost like 140 grand. So I've got a lot more trucking to do uh, before we can buy our own truck. Uh, we're just going to keep on grinding away at the job market until we can uh, do it. I, I could get a bank loan and help out with that, but... It's either 50000 or 100000 And when you look at what you're paying a day back to the bank, it's like, I'm not making that kind of money right now. So I don't want uh, to put myself in that kind of jeopardy because once I'm, you know, the money's spent, um, I'm not making any money unless I'm doing the job. So it's kind of like I'll be in debt constantly. So I'm trying to prevent from having to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.